Hi, this is Rick again with Bright White Paper Company, and in this training video, we're going to show you how to operate or use the print artist software that comes with your workstation. Uh, simply, uh, once you're in the uh, this screen, just double click on it, and it should open right up. Here we go. And when it opens, you're actually going to end up with this screen as your main menu. Here you have your choice of choosing a project, design from scratch, and opening a project. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how each one of these works. So the first one we're going to do is choose a project. This brings up the program's actual um, templates that are uh, created in the system. There are hundreds, possibly thousands of them that you can choose from. All these different uh, subject matters that you can uh, select from, these are um, all the different subjects or, or categories. So for instance, we've got banners, booklets, business designs, greeting cards, um, here are signs and posters, photo cards, whatever it may be. You'll also notice uh, next to most of the categories that they're going to have their own individual uh, arrows. And if you select the arrows, they're going to bring up different subjects that you can bring up and different categories. So for instance, in education, here are all the education ones. And if we want to bring them down further, break them down further, we can select clubs and teams. Uh, teams, schools and classes, various things like that. In this one what we're going to do is we're going to actually type in uh, under uh, education training we're going to type in subject football and in football here we have uh, a banner that we'd like to try so I've selected football tryout banner any of the program's pre-made templates can be called up and changed by simply selecting the information the graphic we want to change. For instance, let's just change uh, the date here. What I did was I selected the box for that. I can uh, double click on it. I can change this from 12 to 13, obviously very simply. Click OK and we've got that change. We can actually go in and change fonts. We can change sizes. Most of the things that you're going to find with this software are going to be very similar to any other design software that you work with. Even uh, Microsoft Word, uh, Publisher, any of the basic programs, you may have even worked with this one. Very simple to use, very easy. If we were to select the graphic uh, for the football, we can change out the football for any kind of graphic that we want by simply uh, selecting the graphics and going from there. Very simple to use. Okay. From there, what we can do is um, we can actually go to, um, well, what I do want to do is I want to show you how this actually uh, works. Most of this program is actually designed for 8.5 by 11 or 11 by 17 output. That's what most of the templates are designed for. So what we have to do is, because we're working with either a 24 inch or a 36 inch printer, we have to be able to change the output of our designs to reflect that. And that's actually pretty easy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into Tools, and in Tools there's Edit Dimensions. And what we want to do with this is we want to create a 24 inch by 72 or 6 foot banner. And it's pretty easy. In the width, what we're going to do is we'll select 72, and in the height, we're going to select 24. Now, we can also do 18 inches high, we can do 12 inches high, we can do 5 feet as opposed to 6 feet. The important thing here is that you, your printer will print exactly what you tell it that you want it to print. And again, even if you're using a 24 inch width, you still will be able to print, for instance, an 18 inch wide. You would trim out of it or fold over whatever the access would be, but you'd have that ability to do that. The uh, next thing that we have to do is resize the object to project size. If you don't do this, you're never going to get um, the size that you're looking for. Also, if you were to select, for instance, as we did before, the, um, uh, the verbiage area, uh, and then went in to make this change, the only thing that would be changed would be the verbiage area. So we select this, hit OK. Now what we have is our actual template size that we need to print to uh, our printer. The next thing we're going to do is to be able to see this, we can go into view and actually zoom, select 10%, and now you can see that we've got exactly what we want. 
So it's a pretty simple way. You can call up any of the templates that you want, make any of the changes that you choose to. Uh, you can change again the fonts and, and different sizes and things like that to be as creative as you want to. Lots and lots of different templates that you can work with. And again, the most important thing is going into their tools and selecting edit dimensions. As you can see, everything here is pretty well set up. We've resized it and all that. So we're all set with that. Now we're going to go on to the main menu again, and we're going to go into Design from Scratch. In Design from Scratch, in this selection, Print Artist actually provides us with completed blank templates that we can design from scratch. So um, you can see that we've got a lot of the similar categories um, from before that we've got. So you can go into a lot of these um, and make changes. So for instance, if we went to Signs and Posters, um, this would give us various poster sizes. Um, here we were, Fun for Kids, where you can pull up uh, a lot of different things that they've got. These again are blank, mazes, different things like that. And um, you can just pull them up and design within them. Here uh, in Banners, just as an instant, uh, just as an idea, again, we can pull up all these different blanks and work within the blanks. Uh, but the important thing again to realize is that even if you're working in the blanks, okay, even if you're selecting, you know, text and different things like that, in the end, you want to go into Tools, Edit Dimensions, and we want to tell it the size that we want it to end up with, and then hit Resize, and it'll do that for us. Nothing too tough here. Again, uh, very very simple, easy to use. Go from there.